the magic. They had candies. They had the magic. What's up, computer people? <laughs> so here's a funny story. One time, um, I was playing violin with this uh, gang of derelicts. And uh, it's funny when you play an instrument like violin, people are always dying to have you come play because it's an unusual instrument. You don't see a lot in rock and roll. Kind of like the flute, maybe even the saxophone. It's just, or maybe the glockenspiel or the windpipe. I mean, who knows? Um, the pan flute. It's just one of those things where people don't hear it a lot and there aren't a lot of us around. So when they find out you play it, they, they always want you to come jam. And I used to not be able to jam because I was a classical artist. I was used to having all these notes in front of me. That's how I learned to play. So it took me a while to kind of unlearn that and go with the flow. But anyway, um, my sister's husband and I joke about it because he plays drums. He's a jazz drummer and people would do the same thing to him. And they would say, hey, yeah, no, I want you to come up and play. Play anything you want. Play what you feel. So you show up and you bring your instrument and you play what you feel, but they don't like it. So play anything you want. Play what you feel, but don't feel that. <laughs> so um, a, a big thing is um, don't play so many notes. Don't play so fast. You play too much. Because they just want you to be a secondary instrument. They want you to complement the melody. They don't want you to be the melody. And if you really like classical violin and, and you want to be a a solo artist or whatever you're used to playing these complex pieces and you're not necessarily used to providing the harmony or the background and that is a skill and an art in and of itself so I kind of I had a lot of problems with that when I first started playing uh, rock and roll and uh, the like so um and, and sometimes it would be fantastic and sometimes I would play with people who were very strong musicians and very secure in what they did and they would let me play whatever I wanted or I guess James husband Tucker let him play whatever he wanted and it really was play whatever you want first and then you know we'll glean from that something you know or what we can so anyway one time uh, I had just returned from one of those not so great jam sessions and I was telling my friend Dale about it and I was like I don't know what happened you know uh, so and so was there, he's good, his friend was there, excellent performer, wonderful artist. What's his head was there, I was there, everybody was there, but it just something wasn't ha just wasn't happening. Something wasn't happening. Uh the magic wasn't there. And Dale looked at me and said, What? Really? Someone forgot to bring the magic? The magic wasn't there. Don't leave out the magic. The magic's where it's at. If the magic isn't there, probably not a whole lot else is either. That's it. Goodbye.